We'll start by building a simple teeter-totter, but for this one we'll use some wagon wheels for movement and I think we can hook our canoe on for easy transport. We may even get to use it as a boat launch once we get it down to the water. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> It would be really fun to try to ride this thing down in the water and canoe away from it. It would be. The amphibious teeter-totter. I'm gonna go get the canoe, just to see what it looks like on top. Yep. Try just dry fitting it in there. Dang. There's the jerk part of the clean and jerk. <laughs> We're gonna have to clean this thing up, or this whole project's gonna look like junk. Like it, love, man. Yeah, it really works well. Looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool, doesn't it? I mean, who doesn't want an amphibious teeter-totter? You can't get in the canoe until you're in a few inches of water, right? The canoe teeter-totters worked uh, pretty fabulously. We managed to hook it up to the bike, take it for a spin, get it down to the lake. I'm super impressed. Now it's uh, time for the real show. Once this thing gets all the way down to the end, the nose will stick in and it'll shoot out the canoe. And then we won't have to get our feet wet. Okay, let's try it. Yep. Oh yeah. It took a little while to get us moving. Whoa. But once we got moving, we got right basically exactly like we thought it would. Right into the water, pushed us out. The teeter totter stayed with us, which we didn't really predict. It looked like a paddle wheeler. If we had hand cranks on there, we'd be able to paddle wheel this canoe around. It's us. Have this thing, we'll be in it all the time. That was fun. So we can pull you up. Andrew, did you pull yourself up in this? Yeah. Do you want to add on it too, Laura? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Do you want it down? Let me down. Up the lake. Here it comes. Down. <laughs> 